So my interest in pain management stemmed from this idea that it's really hard to get an idea of what our patients are trying to tell us. And the thoughts that I always have about this is, um, look at that. I mean, how do we even know that the poor cow is in pain, right? Um, is he? Is he not? And um, I was so excited when my week at VetVine was going to be during Pain Awareness Month that you didn't put me off until October because it's really important to have this month. And the reason that September is Animal Pain Awareness Month is because uh, that is the same month that's designated in humans. So I think it's nice for us to kind of take the moment to not just think about pain in humans, but also in pain in our patients as well. Kind of as a review, we're talking about osteoarthritis and why do we care about this so much is that we know that it's the number one cause of pain in dogs and cats. And we used to say it was one out of five, you know, 20%, but now we know that it's probably closer to 40% of dogs and likely greater than 60% of pet cats develop and have osteoarthritis. Bad news that only half of dogs with osteoarthritis are ever diagnosed. <laughs> this kind of brings us to this idea of tools, right? And less than 5% of cats with osteoarthritis are ever diagnosed. And sadly, uh, most dogs we know are diagnosed probably 7 to 12 years after their osteoarthritis pain has started. Kind of sad statistics there. There's even more bad news when we look at cats. There's been a couple good cat studies about osteoarthritis. The study from Utrecht came out. They looked at 100 cats that came into the hospital for whatever reason. So they weren't coming for an orthopedic evaluation. They were coming in for some type of evaluation for any service at the hospital and 61% had osteoarthritis in at least one joint. 48%, almost half had osteoarthritis in greater than one joint. And once these cats were senior coming in for whatever reason, 82% had evidence of osteoarthritis in their joint. And why do we care about this? Because when we have pain that we don't know about, it's bad. When we're not controlling it, it's bad. It compromises our immune system. It slows healing. It increases uh, mortality after surgery or trauma and certainly makes it much more difficult to heal. It promotes cancer. They say that pain kills and that's not a lie. It affects our mental health, aggression, sleep patterns, anxiety, depression, certainly the same for humans as it is for animals. And these are things that we have to be really, really proactive and care about. 